Alrighty, hi y'all. This is you, the Nightworm360, and the game is Raid Shadow Legends. A little bit. <laughs> and we're gonna go on and do our boosted summonings real quick. I didn't really get a chance to save up a whole bunch of stones like I thought I was. And all of that. So we gonna get right into that. Let me go on and get my last two free ones. And I got a blue shard from an event. So that makes it a total of seven. So we will get right into it. But first, uh, let me make sure I ain't got anything else extra. <laughs> okay. Okay, got one more level on that Doom Priest, and I'll be working on that one. Alrighty, now that I got some storage uh, straightened out, I had to check my storage real quick. We gonna go on and do these seven blue crystals, and then I'm gonna try to maybe a couple of the green crystals. So, let's go on and see what we possibly going to get. Here we go. Alright, Tiger Soul, level 1. Scorpion Tips, level 1. Attacks one enemy has 40% chance of placing a 2.5 poison debuff for 2 turns. Damage based on attack. Ascended skill 3. Attacks 1 enemy has a 40% chance of placing a 5% poison debuff 2 turns. Wearing tactics level 1. Attacks 1 enemy that has a 75% chance of placing a 15% weakening debuff for 2 turns. Okay. And Tiger Strength Level 1 places debuff blocks and a 60% increased death buff on this champion for two turns. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Okay, next shard. Okay, War Maiden. I think I have gotten War Maiden before. I checked. Ferocious attack level 1 attacks one enemy has a 30% chance of placing a 2.5 poison debuff for one turn. Attacks one uh, opportunity strike level 1 attacks one enemy places a 50% increase attack buff on this champion and places an extra hit if the attack is critical. The extra hit can hit cannot be critical. Okay. Crumbling Blast level 1 attacks all enemies has a 75% chance of placing a 30% decreased death debuff for 2 turns. Damage based on attack and an ascended skill 3 attacks all enemies has a 75% chance of placing 60% decreased debuff for 2 turns. Okay. But I think I had got war maiden before war. I'm pretty sure I have. Okay, I got a lane again. <laughs> I am currently building her up. I'm going to only probably eventually six her too if I hadn't already done it. King shot level one attacks one enemy places an extra hit on the attack is critical. Uh, lightning arrow attacks one enemy, then all enemies placing a 30% increased rate debuff uh, buff on this champion for three turns if target is killed. Ascension 3 attacks one enemy, all enemies it has an extra 15% chance of inflicting a critical hit, places a 30% increased critical rate buff on this champion 
for three turns if target is killed. Then Valley of Death level one attacks all enemies two times and then their Aurora HP in all battles fifteen percent. But I'm definitely building her anyway, so she'll be coming built soon. Alright, Skull Warren, I think I also got that one before. A Velocious Rip, level 1 attacks one enemy two times, has a 20% chance of placing an extra hit. Cry for Blood places a 30% increased speed buff on this champion for two turns, also places a counter attack buff on this champion for two turns. Feral Hunter Passage Level 1 fills this champion's turn meter by 15% on critical hits. Fills this champion's turn meter by 50% if champion kills an enemy. And this is for Crips. Ally Speed Infraction on Crips by 13%. Okay, we're going to the next one. Okay, Skink. Okay, this is new. Uh, Slippery Strike Level 1 attacks one enemy with a normal block damage and shield buffs. Okay. Withering Poison Level 1 attacks one enemy has a 50% 50 50 chance of placing a 30% decreased de death debuff for two turns. Ascended Skill 3 attacks one enemy has a 50% chance of placing 30% decrease death debuff for two turns places 50% heal reduction debuff for two turns if target has a decreased death debuff. Ah, lots of these. <laughs> catalyze, crystallize, catalyze level one. Uh, attacks one enemy. The hit is critical if target has heal reduction debuff. Okay. And Aurora, a magic ally attack in all battles, 30%. Okay, okay. Oh, God, I got Squirrel Worm again. Okay, last one. <laughs> Okay, who? Oh, Fleshmonger. I think I had got him before, too. He a rare. Thorough Brutery level 1. Attacks one enemy three times. Flesh Meat level 1. Places 25% increased attack and 15% increased critical rate buff on this champion for two turns. Grants an extra turn. Tornado Cleaver attacks all enemies, has a 50% chance of placing a 30% decreased death debuff for two turns. Ascended Skill 3 attacks all enemies and has a 50% chance of placing a 60 decreased debuff for two turns. And Aurora increases ally attacking dungeons by 23%. Okay. I'm not sure if I got him before. I might not. So I have to check that out. But unfortunately, that was all on the charts. Unfortunately, it didn't give me nothing really super special. So I missed out on that. Okay. All right, and I need to, and that's the end of my summoning, right? Well, I could summon three more or two more. All right. Unfortunately, the summoning wasn't really strong this time around, but I wanted to go on and try while I had gathered that much uh, stuff, so. And I just save up more shards again and try out some other events they got coming up. So that's unfortunately all I got, but I do have a question for those who are praying Rage Shadow Legend. 
I know uh, I probably didn't ask this question a million times, but where do you find an actual list of all the heroes, uh, monsters and heroes for Raid Shadow Legends uh, to, um, to look up and see which ones I need to work on and which ones I might need to turn into future food. Uh, I remember somebody saying Ayumu Love, but I forgot what was the other one. And I tried asking in chat and nobody answered. So if any, if there's another place I can find out a list on, put it in the comments below. Cause I'm trying to slowly but surely go through all my monsters and see who I'm gonna keep and who I'm gonna ditch, so I can have more space to summon uh, in the future and not use up my rubies to open up space. So. Uh, if anybody knows, let me know where I can find that list at. This is user Nightworm 360 and the game is Raid Shadow Legends. And I will catch y'all later.